It starts off with Eminem in this dirty ass public bathroom practicing his rhymes. He's about to be in a freestyle battle and he's super nervous about it. His palms is sweaty or whatever, arm spaghetti. He ends up hurling in the toilet and he's having this whole deep self-reflecting moment. Meanwhile, there's somebody banging on the damn door trying to dookie the whole time. Why are you hogging the whole bathroom, Eminem? It's not a one person bathroom. Who do you think you are? Where the hell you think you going? Going backstage, I'm nah, in the battle. You can't go backstage. Man, come on, dog. I got a stamp on my hand. You got to go. I just went to the bathroom. Like, straight, dog. He's straight. He with you? Yeah. Eminem's best friend comes over and saves him from that evil racist bouncer. His name is Future Vandross, and he's played by Black All Star Mackay Pfeiffer. They got him wearing this awful looking boneless dreadlock wig for some reason. It looks atrocious, bro. It looks like it's about to fall off his damn head. Shit like a Halloween decoration. He follows Eminem upstairs where they meet the rest of their group. This bunch of weird ass niggas right here. Is this supposed to be D12 or something? Remember D12? Hell no. Eminem then goes behind the dumpster and grabs his trash bag full of clothes. That's pretty sad. He white in the hood. He keep his clothes in the trash or whatever. But at least he's got a team of supportive and helpful friends by his side. I'm gonna need a place to crash. You gonna stay at your mom's? <laughs> the movie takes place in Detroit in the 90s. It's supposed to be like Eminem's rise to fame movie. Kind of like his Get Rich or Die Trying, where it's like a fake biography type of deal. Speaking of Get Rich or Die Trying, here's everybody's favorite character. Fat nigga, he in both movies, this fat nigga, I don't know his name. Something's gonna happen with this shit. It needs to happen now. How you feeling? Feel good, you feel good. Yeah. Anthony Mackie is in the movie. He's the main bad guy and he's the leader of this rap group slash gang or something called the free world. He's super good at rapping or something. He's the champion of all the freestyle battles. They all be freestyle battling in this crusty ass old ass club called the shelter. Who told you you can fuck with the mighty pop or doc for stepping on the stage? I should rock you not. Don't get too close or you might get shot. Cause I'm a grown man, son. How slow are you? Making my wish that a fat Supporting you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, he's supposed to be the champion, right? That was pretty underwhelming, especially since this is the only time we actually hear this nigga rap in the whole entire movie. Seriously, he's the main bad guy in the rapping movie, and he rapped one time though. Next up, oh, it's my man Buddy Rabbit yeah. and Lil Tip. He the type to lose a fight with a dyke. They don't laugh because you whack, they laugh because you white with a mic. Oh, All right, next up. My boy Bunny Rabbit. <laughs> Damn, all that bathroom time didn't help none, huh? At least you didn't throw up on the damn stage though, that's good. Also, your name is Bunny Rabbit. Of course niggas are booing you. That's a stupid ass name, bro. It's Eminem's turn to rap, but he's choking now. Everybody's joking now. Clocks run out. Time's up over Blau. They snap back to reality and Eminem is going to stay with his mom at her trailer. His mom lives in the white hood with his little sister and they got a sad hood life. His mom's always cooking spaghetti and shit all the time. Eminem walks in and sees his mom and her new boyfriend smashing on the couch. So that's always fun. He has a little talk with her and she agrees to let him stay there and she even gives him this old ass stinky ass car that don't work. It's your birthday present. Honey, what up, Dow? Thought you might be back home. This ain't my home. Man, why are you still going to the shelter, dog? There ain't nobody down there but a bunch of clowns who ain't got deals and never gonna get deals. 
You need to stay at home. You know, Wings got you. It's the next day and we meet another one of Eminem's fucking lame ass homeboys. This one name is Wink. He's like a music promoter. He's one of those guys that be bullshitting all the time. Like he know famous people and shit. You know that guy. I'm the one that tipped him on Big O and got that fat man out of flipping burgers at Biggie D. Look, I'm building an empire, Jimmy, and I'm taking you with me, man. You're next. Eminem goes to work now. He works at some factory making fucking bumper cars or something. I don't know, man. It's like a car shit. He he work at a car shit. He tries to ask his boss for some more hours, and his boss tells him to shut the fuck up, basically, with all that. Are you shitting me? Hey, Dutton. Is he shitting me? What? I'm looking for John Laterno. I can take you. I don't think so, Smith. Fuck y'all too, Eminem is hanging out with Future Vandross now after work and they fixing up his car and talking about all their hood problems. Eminem got a bunch of sad hood problems. His mom is dating some dude that him and Future Vandross went to high school with. He's like the same age as them. That's fucking whack, right? Eminem don't like that. He just broke up with his girlfriend too also. That's a problem, I guess. He got problems, man. What else? He broke? Uh... But he got butt chin, dumpster clothes. He wearing dumpster clothes all day. He all fucked up, bro. They sing a song about it, actually. You live in home in a trailer. He's tapping my mom who almost the same age. Eminem fixes up the car and they head out for a night of fun in the hood. I guess this nigga good at fixing cars. I don't know where that came from. That don't sound real. I don't think this nigga really good with cars like that. He do work at a car shit, though. And he grew up in Detroit. I don't know this man life. Who think Eminem good at fixing cars in real life? Comment below. Man, we just gotta make our own sound. Fuck everybody else. Now, yeah. I'm the I'm that damn thing, man. Good. Oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. Come on. Yes. Hey. They doing a paintball thing and Eminem takes the shit too far, of course. Crazy white boy shit. It's Eminem though. It's funny and it's cute when he does it. Luckily, they all get away and they head on down to some parking lot party. I'm guessing this is outside the shelter. There's a bunch of niggas rapping and shit and Bunny Rabbit finally gets to show off his skills to everybody. Your style is generic. Mine's authentic made. I roll like a renegade. You need clinic aid. You want a battle? You beat around the bush like you're scared to lick pussy, so you eat around the tush. I'm the dashiki, smoking the lick licking. Ten freaky girls inside the gym ticket. The main bad guys show up now. Their name is the Free World. They a rap gang. I said that already. They come in and they ruin the whole vibe when everybody was having fun and shit. They challenge Snow Bunny Rabbit and all his friends and anyone else who dares to rap and have fun in their presence. You cast this pussy soft like wet flowers. Leaders of the free world here to smash on you cowards. Hold on. Yo, Elvis, caught your choke act at the shelter last night. <laughs> fucking playing with me, bitch. I'm not fucking Eminem does a bunch of hood rat stuff with his friends and they all bonding and character development. The whole gang is here. Future Vandross, Glasses Yo, and their special needs homie Cheddar Bob is here too. He's having fun. That's a great time. Hey, I'm I'm out. Out. <laughs> Unique clinic gate. It's the next day and Eminem's mom tells him that they about to get evicted. We're being evicted. God damn it. For mom, you gotta now. stop living your life like this. If you really cared about Lily, you would get a job and quit fucking around. What are you doing with your life that's so great, rabbit? All right, Eminem, cut it out, bro. I let you have the car shit, but I definitely don't think you would really do this shit in real life, especially with no backup, basically. Who is your backup? This fucking team of weirdos you ride around with? Glasses, yo? This nigga get folded in half, bro. You got Future Vandross and the fat nigga. Yeah, they probably capable. That's not enough, though. Eminem is not going this hard. I'm sorry. You wanna fuck with us, huh? Fuck with us, yeah? 
Man, put that shit away, dog, before you fucking kill somebody. Okay, all right. Fuck, man. Uni Clinic A. They take Cheddar Bob to the hospital. He's fine though. Nobody give a fuck really. They all in the car now and future Vandross and Wink start arguing about who got more juice than who. Oh, like that time you were real tight with that intern in Russell Simmons' office. <laughs> is it because I'm making moves? Or is it because your ass is stuck hosting bounds for like two years? <laughs> Man, Greg are having problems. It's our sex life. He just doesn't like Mom, that. I don't want to hear this. Greg won't go down on me. Mom! That's what you worried about right now? Bitch, you are getting evicted in 30 days. Why are you chilling right now? That's why he be writing all those diss tracks about you, lady. This nigga in real life be writing diss tracks about his mom. That's hilarious. Eminem is at work and he's on his lunch break. A bunch of people start freestyling and Exhibit comes over and starts bullying everybody. Honestly, I was about to complain about there being too many random freestyle sessions, but that should be happening though. That's actually very believable. Look at this fat ass nigga. <laughs> Sloppy sucker. You an ugly motherfucker. Take a look at all the fruitcake. When you travel, you probably pack panties in your suitcase. Enough with the gay jokes, especially from a gay broke bitch yourself. Hey, Lo. <laughs> Yo, yo, Scott cashed this whole check and bought one ho-ho. <laughs> On this mic, you get faded. You look like a pissed off rapper who never made it. Ooh. It's off. Ooh. Fuck it. I'll let homegirl finish you off. <laughs> Damn, Exhibit. This nigga slaughtered you, bro. That's embarrassing. You should swing on this nigga, bro. The fucking girl pops up again, of course. She hears Eminem's dope rhymes and it makes her super horny and they smash in like the back of a machine or something. It looked pretty dangerous, bro. Not as dangerous as smashing this random bitch raw in the first place, but I digress. Also, this sex scene is too long, bro. I hate sex scenes. <sighs> Climate. They do some more hanging out in the hood. They go to see Cheddar Bob and him and Eminem have a heart to heart. Nobody give a fuck really. Eminem goes back to the trailer later that night and the fucking girl is here eating spaghetti and shit. Like bro, Eminem gets mad and yeah, I would be mad too at this point. I don't like shit like that. Don't keep popping up on niggas unannounced. That's not sexy. <laughs> Yo, you brought her to my fucking mom? What the fuck? Fuck. Man, shit, look, I invited her to my show. She said we had to come and get you. What's I supposed to do? It's almost the third act now, so everything start going wrong. The mom's boyfriend starts tripping and they have a big fight. Eminem and Future Vandross get in a fight too. Eminem didn't want to do the next battle, but Future Vandross signed him up anyway. That's their fight. That's their thing. Also, Wink is trying to smash the girl or whatever now. She's trying to be a model and he says he'll help her because he know famous people. Shit's all fucked up. And now we got to fix it in the third act. That's it. It's the third act now. Everybody's sad now. I'm looking for Wink Harris. I thought I'd recognize your face, baby. What the fuck are you mad about, Eminem? That's not your girl. What are you doing? You look crazy, bro. You met her like a week ago and you smashed her once on some casual shit. You don't get to fight over her, bro. That's so lame. Have a good night. Wink said you lived in a trailer with your mom. <laughs> but we ain't believe him. The next day, Eminem is at work and he's talking to his friend, Paul the Fruitcake. The girl comes over to see him again. I guess she picked him when she saw that Wink can't fight. But no, she's going to New York forever now and she gives him a pep talk before she leaves. I was hoping to see you at the shelter tonight. But if you're afraid, you know. I'm afraid of them guys. Eminem asks Paul to cover for him and he says yes because he's thankful that Eminem stood up for him. Then he runs off to the shelter for the best part of the movie and the only reason people watch the movie. Seriously, this final battle scene will always be fun to watch every time. I wish I could show you all of it, but I can't. Here's some highlights. Watch the damn clip. Fucking Nazi, your squad ain't your type. Take some real advice and form a group with vanilla ice. Oh. 
This whole crowd looks suspicious. It's all dudes in here, except for these bitches. So I'm a German, eh? That's okay. You look like a fucking worm with braids. Fuck battle, call me your leader. I feel bad that I gotta murder that dude from Leave It to Beaver. I used to like that show. Ward, I think you were a little hard on the beaver. So was Eddie Haskell, Wally, and Miss Cleaver. Uh, if I may, niggas would not be going crazy over that Leave It to Beaver bar. You dropping names of characters and shit? Like niggas really watch that shit like that? I just don't like that show. I ain't hear a word you say. Hibbity hoopla! Is that a tank top or a new bra? Fuck, Snoop Dogg has got a fucking boob job. Yeah. It's time for the final round. Eminem made it to the final round. It's him versus Anthony Mackie and all the tensions are super high. The girl is watching. All his friends are watching. The niggas who beat his ass just now are watching. Who goes first? Let that bitch go first. Whoa. Everybody from the 313, put your motherfucking hands up. Look, one pop, two pop, three pop, four, four pop, three pop, two pop, one, your pop, he's pop, no pop, none. I don't get this one. Is he calling him Tupac? No, cause no Pac none. What is that? You're not Tupac then. That's what that means? Whatever, man. Fuck it. Are you saying he look like Tupac? Uh, whatever, man. I know everything he's got to say against me. I am white. I am a fucking bum. I do live in a trailer with my mom. And we did fuck my girl. I'm still standing here screaming fuck the free world. Again, that's not your girl, man. She belonged to the mile, bro. How easy was it for you to smash her, bro? You think she not out here fucking? I get that Wink is your homeboy, but if she's offering, I mean, give him a break. Eminem starts roasting himself now, which is a bold move. That could have easily backfired, but everybody liked it. What's the matter, dog? You in Paris? This guy's a gangster? His real name's Clarence. <laughs> Yeah. Eminem defeats Papa Clarence and he's the new champion now. They just gonna jump you again though, bro. You expose this nigga talking about private school and shit? He gotta fade you now, even worse than before. But everybody happy for now at the moment. His mom won at some bingo games, so they not getting evicted. That happened earlier after he got beat up. It was pretty convenient. Future Vandross comes out to congratulate Eminem and he says he should co-host the battles at the shelter with him. Eminem declines and he goes back to work, walking down this dark ass alley for some reason. Perfect time for the free world niggas to run up on you. That beef is not over, bro, I promise you. This is definitely a hood classic and it's a very well made film. The story isn't groundbreaking or anything new per se, but the performances and the soundtrack and shit is more than enough on its own. I enjoyed his group of friends, Future Vandross, all them. I kinda wish they gave the glasses nigga and the fat nigga some more stuff to do. They literally don't do shit. They just all kinda comic relief. But I like them, they funny. Brittany Murphy's always great too. She didn't really do shit in the movie either. She was kinda just a random thought, but she adds a lot of charm and charisma to the role. R.I.P. Brittany Murphy, by the way. She's in a lot of stuff. She was Luann on King of the Hill and shit. That's where I know her from. Eminem's acting actually is impressive, man. There were a few times where it was a little shaky, but it's definitely way better than it should have been, realistically. I'm kind of blown away. He should definitely do more movie roles. He can't rap forever, bro. I don't think he gives a fuck either way, but I would love to see some more Eminem movies. A lot of people would. Make a sequel to this. Call it Nine Mile. Nine I'm out. All right, I'm clearly out of jokes at this point. Thanks for watching, y'all. I got the Dead Presidents review coming up soon. I want to do a DMX movie first, though. Gotta do a DMX movie. It's only right. Rest in peace, King DMX. We'll do Cradle to the Grave or something for the man. Watch him do karate. I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out. Also, Trapped in the Closet is coming up soon. The R. Kelly shit. I'm gonna review the whole shit. Not the whole shit, y'all tripping. Is it go that's gonna be really demonetized and fun. And also Precious. That's the upcoming lineup so far. I'm gonna get more frequent. I finally know what I'm doing kinda with YouTube. Thanks for sticking with me through all the ups and downs and audio quality or whatnot. I'll see you guys next time. Check out my second channel. I got the gameplays on there now. New podcast episodes on there. Go watch it. I'm out of here though. Y'all can stay if you want to. But the video will- <laughs> I got one question, man.
tell me who next. This nigga salt like nigga who just getting the best. See, I'm the best, man. I did it.